What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the third beta of macOS Sequoia 15.1 to developers. And in this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of the software. We got a couple of things to talk about. Let's get started. Alright, so the first one has to do with monthly pop-ups. So we got our good old weekly pop-ups in the previous beta. Apple has switched them over to do monthly pop-ups. So this is the same exact change that we got inside of beta 6 of macOS Sequoia. They just brought it over here to beta 3 of 15.1 since they have not quite yet until now. You can allow for one month or just open system settings. They will just open system settings to try and make you turn it off. Still a controversial change, but hopefully we get that reverted. I know a month is not as big of, as a deal as a week, but we explicitly gave it permission to screen record. Now, the next change is a really exciting change when it comes to Apple Intelligence. So let me get a picture here real fast. All right, right here I have pictures of cheap iPhones at Walmart. And if I were to press this edit button right here, we have a new button that says clean up right here. This is a really interesting feature inside this latest beta. It's similar to an older one called Retouch. Let's say I wanted to remove this text right here, just highlight it or circle it, and then it will do its best to clean up and remove it all. So it even detected right here, maybe it thought I made a mistake. It actually does a pretty good job. There are a couple of instances where I was thinking it not do as good of a job. And along with that, Apple has removed a feature inside of here called Retouch. And they probably removed it because it was similar, but not as good as this cleanup feature. We are not sure if it got removed on an Intel Mac quite yet, but it is nowhere to be seen right here. And cleanup is the new alternative, and it works a lot better than it did before. Let's just do one again. Let me circle this this time. And then it will remove the word unlimited, hopefully. And okay, that's a weird bug right there. So I guess I'm going to do that and then give feedback, I guess. Let me do that real fast. Right, I just shared it with Apple, and now let's move on to the next feature. Now, a hidden feature inside of Cleanup right here has to do with people's faces. So if I were to circle my face right here, you're going to see that it will blur out my face, which is a pretty cool feature inside of Cleanup. Meanwhile, if I were to try to get rid of this W right here, okay, that wasn't that good. Let me see if circling that and then, and then this right here will get rid of it. Oh right, yeah, that, now that's a lot better. You can now blur people's faces, which is a pretty cool thing, in addition to blurring everything else that you want. So right there is a logo without my face blurred, and without the Willy Apple logo right here. So pretty cool feature inside of the Photos app that we got right here. You can now do that if you wanted to. Now the next change has to do with the Messages app inside this latest beta. So if I were to right click on this message right here, you can see that when you move around your cursor now, it, goes back out. This was not the case inside the previous beta, but Apple merged the changes between the previous two betas and this beta with the previous two betas of 15.0. Of course, we got this little visual glitch right here, which should hopefully get fixed. Who knows, we'll hopefully get a fix for that pretty soon. Now, our next change has to do with the notification center. So we have this notification center right here, and we got a little change right here. So edit widgets is no longer on the bottom right here. It is now at the top right here. So if I were to click on edit widget, it just brings up the widget picker as you would expect it to. And we also got a button right here that says clear banners. So you can clear banners or you can clear alerts that will do that. And then once again, that settings button just opens up the settings panel. And what's interesting now is that when you scroll down, edit widget shows right here. And something else that's pretty interesting right here is that I did not place these widgets right here, so which is a little bit interesting to see. So I'm guessing Apple Intelligence determines which widgets and what configuration you want. Who knows? Pretty cool that Apple might actually be doing that. Because at least for this widget right here, you gotta manually choose the configuration. I don't know why it's like this, but now I'm gonna say this right now. Something I would absolutely love for Apple Intelligence to do is determine what widget should belong on your desktop. Tell Apple Intelligence how many widgets you would want placed or what section. So it looks really good for your standing. We'll just have to wait and see if Apple will do that. Similar to whatever this is. Maybe it's a bug. Who knows? But we'll have to see and wait. Now next change is a really interesting feature inside this latest beta. You can now use your stickers in the same exact text field as emojis. So let's put Craig Federighi right here. And you can see Craig Federighi is right here. I'm going to make a new document so I can show you it a little bit bigger. You could also use emojis with it or even just text. You can use your emoji, any emoji, and then your stickers and text inside the same line, which is pretty cool to see. Now, I'm not sure how many apps will actually support this, but keep in mind, not every place will be able to do it. Like in Willy Widgets right here, 
you cannot name it a sticker, for example. So that's something to look out here inside of inside of this feature right here. However, I think you can copy and paste it as text. It will just only do the supported characters when pasting it inside of an unsupported area where this feature does not work. Now, next change has to do with a brand new splash screen inside this latest beta of Sequoia. We got the splash screen for app download improvements inside the app store. It just tells you that you need less space. It will just be the normal app store that you know and love. With Willy widgets on the front of the app store right here. Now as for anything else inside the latest beta, there is not much else. Besides the fact that the Safari and Finder have been updated to version 15.1 and 18.1 respectively. We don't have to worry about the app group container if you've been watching the macOS 15.0 videos. And if we take a look at our storage usage real fast, going inside up here. We can see our storage users is 38.28 gigabytes. However, we have an I, and we could actually probably subtract 5.08 gigabytes because Apple Intelligence just show up right here as using storage. It's actually using 33.2 gigabytes here, which is a pretty nice improvement from before. Yeah, that is everything I could find inside this latest beta of Mac OS Sequoia. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!